Benchmark. Hello everyone. So this will be episode one of my fan Final Fantasy XIV series and as you can see my character looks a bit different from the last time you saw him. I used the in-game hairdresser and stuff just to change my look a bit. Just It just looks nicer in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> and what I have done is I changed my job to gladiator starting at level one uh, gladiator can later on become a uh, oh, what do they call paladin if I so wish uh, but we have to follow this series of quests okay so there's several ways of leveling up in this game one is just kill stuff Obviously, it gives you experience, but it is slow going. Um, the other way is to follow the main story quest. Uh, now, on this character, I've already done some of it, but not a great deal. Uh, I'm up to Terror of Ful Fulgord, um, which is a level 27 recommended quest. <coughs> We've not missed much. It's more like an introduction to everything. The other way is to do your guild quests, so your job quests, and that's what we're going to start with today. And then there's, so we'll accept that, wishes to gauge your aptitude for the sword. Amazing what a difference a sword can make. Your expression, your posture, you're already bringing, brimming with confidence. Let's see if that confidence is warranted, shall we? Just outside the gates of Old Dirt, you'll find plenty of marmots, hornets and shrews. Slay three of each and return here when finished. Oh, and use your sword, Dalimar. I'm a gladiator, and I aim to train you as one. Now go. Okay, simple enough. Simple kill stuff quest. So let's go and do that first. Have a look. Western Thanalan. Okay. Right, if you look on the map in the corner, you see all these little circle things. No, maybe not. Am I looking in there? Yeah, I think they're what we need for the quest. And they show above it. Yeah, they show above the heads of the creatures we're going to kill. Um, these ones with the little icon here, they're for like, achievement quests. Um, so you kill a certain amount and then you get an XP bonus. So, yeah. Let's go for it. We've only got the one skill at the moment. But, hey ho. Okay, easy peasy. <clears throat> these are actual quests, and then these are those achievement star quests. You kill so many of the same creature. should take us to level 2. Way. This series may take me a little longer than most because there's a lot of this kind of thing and I'll need to 
edit down a lot. Oh. I've got a new skill. What's this one do? Increases physical damage, so that's more like a buff. It's level 3. Okay, those ones are finished. The little blue icon there means they're they're no aggro creatures. Alright, so now we're after huge hornets and snapping shrews. Where are they? Let's have a look. They don't show up on here. Ah, you got these as well. These are recommended level look. Uh, basically, they're like little events that happen all over the world in all the different maps. And you can either take part in them or don't. Um, either way, they still happen. And you gain experience dependent on how successful you were. Uh, we'll probably do a few of those as we level. Because when you run out of quests, and you do run out of quests, they turn out being a staple for levelling up, which is useful. Okay. I'm doing these because I need them for... for those achievement style quests, and, and like I said, they give you a an XP boost as well, so it's worth doing them as you come across them. There you go. And that gave me a level as well. Awesome. My first Gladius, that's the way we need to go. Uh, that symbol on the blue writing for the next area indicates that there's a quest there. So that's where we're going next. No crystal here. Okay. Got this guy. Leave meats. I can't remember what they are. Um, I'm sure once I do one I'll remember, but we'll leave that for now. We're concentrating on levelling up our gladiator. Oh, hammer beaks. We need those. That was an area of effect damage it was about to do. So, to avoid that, just move out of the little area of effect. As you can see, I've got another skill now. I can go straight into the second skill because it was ready. The first skill sets up the second skill. Like that. So, it procs and then you use it for. Mo oh no! <laughs> What an idiot. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention at all. Um, right, okay. As I was saying, your first skill will line up the second skill. Uh, sometimes you have to rearrange your skills because you get different options as you level up, the more skills you get. Um, and... 
you have your lead up skill and then your follow up skill and your follow up skill always works more effectively if it's procced from using the lead up skill uh, there's loads of combinations but we'll get the hang of that as we go this is a new class for me on here so right hammer beaks uh, that's why they're level 7 I'm only level 4 What? <sighs> okay, we're going to try that again. <laughs> uh, hopefully a little less embarrassing. I have some potions. Uh, that's one thing I don't like about this game. It only restores up to 32% of your hit points. As opposed to like a set number. So, say 150 or, or whatever. It does a percentage of what your maximum is to a maximum in this case of 340 points which I think that sucks a little bit but we'll go with the flow. What's this one? Potion. Right, that's probably a better one to use because it's 32% of maximum to a ma to 160 points and I only have 119 in total so Right, let's try again, because I'm determined to kill these buggers. There we go. We got that one. Right. Let's try another one. Okay, we're better off wait in a minute now. <laughs> Potions have quite a cool down on them. As you can see. Oh, I missed that. Too busy talking again. go. Right, they haven't got the icon on. I don't think I needed to kill that last one. Just needed to redeem myself a little bit. Um, yep, yeah, so that's the way we want to go. So where are the creatures we want? They're here somewhere. Level sevens. What am I? Level four. I could kill one to gain a level. Let's do that. Just gain me a gain me a level. I think one should do it. 
I'm a bit further in, so these are probably a little bit tougher. Ow. Oh, not quite. One more. See these orange areas? They're, they're a regular quest. And that's the areas we need to get to. Um, I need them. Level 7 grave robbers. Let's go do them. I'm level 5 now. I think I've got gear I can use. Yep. Oh, keep that till level 10. Okay. <clears throat> I need some of these Spriggan Grave Robbers. Uh, do I have another weapon? I don't think I do. Right, I've got Frostbite, but I can't use that till level 24. I can't remember how I got that. I think it was a drop on my other character. Uh, okay. Straight in because I have to use my potion here. And I can if I need to. I'll use it now. Okay. one of these Spriggan Doobries. Just wait for my health to regenerate. boost for that. Is 
that done. If I kill two more, I might get another level, so let's let's do that. If I'm really lucky, I'll get it in one. What's that? Flash. Okay. So that blinds them, but also increases my enmity, so it makes them hit me more. It's good for tanking. Keep the damage on you. ones. This is the status you've put on the creature and how long it lasts. There we go, that's that one done. Bit more of an XP boost. Uh, okay, don't need any of them. There we go, huge hornets. That's part of the quest we need. <coughs> are going to be easy now. I'm level 6, is that? Yeah. And these are really Perfect. thing I need is over here. Tell you what, if you run into one of them in your house, you'd cack it, wouldn't you? I would anyway. the snapping shrews. Killed two, two birds with one stone there. Finished the quest. And I got that um, 
that little mini one done as well at the same time. Very nice. Right. Now we need to head back and hand this in, which is this way. So we're going to hand in my first Gladius. I believe that will give us a new weapon. I might be wrong, actually. I might be using the weapon. Uh, we'll see. Okay, let's go and use the Ethernet shard. Uh, these are worth knowing about. In every town or area of interest, you get these. You get big versions and these little ones. Collect every single one you find, because there's a teleport network using these, and they really help you get around. So I'm going to the Gladiators Guild. Those big blue crystals. Collect them everywhere you can. Here we go. Welcome back, Dalamar. I take it you've dispatched the beasts, and with ease? With every swing and thrust, you gain valuable experience. You must remember and reflect on each one if you are to recognize and eliminate deficiencies in your technique. Your training under me shall continue once the half sits so snugly in your hand that you cannot imagine holding out else. Hmm. Until then, Dalamar. The next gladiator quest will be available from Milia upon reaching level 5. So we've already done that. We shall complete it. And we will collect the next one in the next episode. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, I know I talked a little bit much in that, but the, these games are quite in depth. Um, and there's a lot to explain. But... But hopefully I'm doing a good job on it. Okay, I, it's only the first few levels. Uh, just a little taster of what's to come, really. Um, it gets better as you go. You get more story, more storylines, more questing. Um, I think the reading of the quests I'm only going to do for the main quests. And probably for the job quests. Because the job quests sort of... They're all nice little stories in themselves. Everything else is just a generic quest, so there's really not a lot of point me reading that. It doesn't progress any story. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye for now. Touch my